I've convinced Kraft to bring that free craft dinner to Canada. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. It's time. Today, I will be making, eating, and reviewing the gluten-free Kraft macaroni and cheese, also known as ba, 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 ba. Katie, you like what I did here? What's wrong with the noodles? It's shading. Unfortunately, this little box of magic is not available in Canada. I had to get this shipped all the way from the United States of America. So, I'm starting a petition to bring gluten-free Katie to Canada. Be sure to watch till the end of this video to find out what you can do to help make this happen. Hey there, Kraft. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Make a dream come true. You may be thinking, why, Robin? Just why? It's a box of pasta and cheese powder. Don't you have more important things to do? No. Kraft Dinner has been there for me throughout my entire life. It was my favorite food from the ages of five to seven until I gave in to peer pressure and changed it to pizza. But Kraft Dinner was still my favorite in my heart. It got me through long nights of studying at university. It was the best late night snack after a night out. And no matter how old I was, if a restaurant had it on the menu as a side, it would be my first choice. Over fries, people. Kraft Dinner is my past, present, and future. Kraft Dinner is a Canadian tradition. According to Wikipedia, Canadians eat 55% more KD than Americans. And it's the most popular grocery item in the country. <laughs> Kraft, I know that it's a fairly new product, but what are you waiting for? If Canadians eat more KD than Americans, why haven't you brought it here yet? Nabisco slash Mr. Christie managed to roll out gluten-free Oreos to both countries at the same time. Just saying. Now, I read in some Facebook groups that Kraft has no plans of bringing gluten-free KD to Canada. <gasps> but I thought I'd contact them myself just to find out if it's true or not. So yesterday, I called Kraft. They told me to submit a form on their website. When I heard back via email, I got a pretty generic response applauding me for my creativity and loyalty, but no real answer on the gluten-free KD. They did say, various Kraft Heinz teams do review comments such as yours, which help us identify consumer trends, preferences, and needs. That's it. Well, that just won't do. In place of the real thing, Gluten-free Canadians go to extremes to recreate their favorite comfort food. People have tried to create their own recipe. They hunt for the legendary KD Shaker, which I personally have not seen yet. Apparently it's at Costco. I have not seen it at my Costco. Or they buy the regular KD, dump the pasta, scrub the little cheese packet, and use it on gluten-free macaroni which is honestly kind of brilliant and I had never thought to do that. But honestly, something about it kind of freaks me out, like being that close to the gluten, like it's gonna get in there by osmosis or something. And also throwing out all that pasta is kind of wasteful, but you do what you gotta do to get your KD. And I respect that. How great would it be to be able to stroll on over to your local grocery store and pick up a box of gluten-free KD? Right? Lawyered. Point made. Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, these 10 boxes of Kraft Dinner, yes, I bought 10, have been sitting there for weeks now calling my name and I can't wait any longer. So without further ado, gluten-free Kraft Dinner. <laughs> it's finally time. I have been so patient and so good. Is that good? Can we go make it now? Want to open the box, shall we? Oh, look at those little noodles. Here's my cheese packet. It got punctured. How did that happen? I'm sure it's fine. Poor little thing. Look at the noodles. They look like classic little Kraft Dinner noodles. Here we go. Set a timer for eight minutes. Eight minutes and counting. 
I'm making it out here on the table because my kitchen is like two square feet. This makes me feel like Hermione. Like I'm in potions class. The Slytherin that I am. So FYI, the pasta in this is a corn flour and brown rice flour pasta. I'm usually not the most fond of like a corn pasta, but it's a blend. Should be good. Give this a stir. The only thing I've noticed about the packaging of this versus this, except for the fact that this one is so much more beautiful, is that the gluten-free one weighs 170 grams and this one weighs 225 grams. So this has 2.5 servings per box instead of three servings. But you would think that the difference in price, because this is more expensive than regular, you would think that the difference in price would make up for that extra amount instead of giving us a little bit less craft dinner. Like for sure now I'm gonna eat a whole box by myself. I already ate a whole box by myself. You so. ate three servings by yourself? Yes. So I'd fill up a big bowl and that would be like most of the box. And it wouldn't, it's not as good the next day. So then if it's just me, I would eat my bowl and then I would take the pan and then just finish off the pan. The other thing that's different is the method on the box because this says three tablespoons of butter or margarine, which is probably about the same. I thought it was two, but two tablespoons of milk. But normally it's like a quarter cup or a third of a cup. Are you gonna try some Kraft Dinner? I'll try one noodle, but- One noodle. I don't, I don't like it. I honestly think that you are the reason why I didn't eat enough Kraft Dinner before my diagnosis. It's your fault. No, that's a lie. I feel like I attempted to make more healthy choices in my life, like continuing to eat a whole bunch of gluten when apparently it was destroying my body. Oh, that's totally done. All right, now this is the part that everyone has their own way of making KD, but I like to add my butter, my three tablespoons of butter into the hot pot. I like to mix together all the cheese ingredients before I put the pasta back in. Okay, so normally I don't have milk in the fridge. I just have like a nut milk or something, which I feel like makes it taste weird. So typically I would just leave out the milk and just use butter and the cheese sauce. But I do have real milk for baking and that's what the recipe on the box is. So I'm going to add the two tablespoons of regular old milk. Dump her in. Oh my God. I haven't seen you this happy in, <laughs> in days. Oh, days isn't too long. It smells like comfort in a hot bowl pan thing. Okay, well it's done. Well, that's all it takes, folks. A little cheese packet, a little butter, a little milk. Stir it all together. Let's throw this in the garbage. I'm not gonna recycle the box yet, I'm too attached. Let's get me a bowl, let's get me some pepper, let's get me the things I need, people. Don't you wish you had a team? You are my team. Oh man. See, this is one of those bowls, like you could put the whole box into one of these bowls which is apparently what I'm doing at this moment. We know you're gonna eat it all, just just do it. Okay, oh. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh man. Okay, got a good forkful. I'm speechless. Like the thing is that gluten-free pasta already doesn't taste that much different than regular pasta. So it's, it tastes, yeah, it tastes the same. The noodles look identical. You can do like the classic, stick them in your fork, getting them like that. I want a little pepper. It's just, it's happiness in a bowl. It tastes like mildly less cheesy, but I think it's cause I, I think it's cause I added the milk. Next time I'll have to make it like my, the way without the milk so that it's like extra cheese powder. Am I happy? Do you even have to ask me that? I'm always on the fence about ketchup on Kraft Dinner because it's always amazing as is. And I'm like, I don't need the ketchup. And then the moment I put the ketchup on, I'm like, oh. we'll do a little bit on the side. Then I can put it all over, just a little, little taste. Also, this is the whole pot in this bowl. 
Oh, that is the, that's the money. Honestly, I just can't believe that I'm eating craft dinner right now and that like, that it's actually safe for me to eat because for so many years now, I feel like when I smell craft dinner or see craft dinner, I have associated it with a food that I am no longer allowed to eat. But finally, there is a version that I'm actually able to eat. What concept? You're just having lunch on camera now, aren't you? It was a thing in my hometown that you would put Italiano spice on craft dinner, which is also a really delicious way to experience craft dinner. So let me know if that's something that you've tried. I sadly don't have any. I don't know if the feelings inside of me were animated properly on my face, but it's delicious. It's delicious, okay? Please bring it to Canada, I'm begging you. Because once these 10 boxes are gone, they expire on my birthday this year. So if I don't eat them before then, it's gonna be a great birthday. Are you gonna finish the video at some point? Yeah, after I eat it, we'll we'll do the, like I have to eat it while it's fresh. Let me eat like a, like a serving. Oopsie. Okay, so that was a life altering moment that I think that every gluten-free Canadian deserves. Which brings me to my petition. Guys, I created a petition to convince Kraft to bring gluten-free KD to Canada. All you have to do is click on the link in the description and sign your name. Then share. Share with your friends. Share with your family. Share with your gluten-free groups on social media. Let's make this happen. Let's bring gluten-free Kraft dinner to Canada. I'm going to leave you with Kraft's own words. For over 60 years, Kraft Dinner has been sung about, talked about, written about, and eaten. Eaten in pretty much any way you can imagine. From the bare naked ladies with their million dollars, to college students with only a few bucks. Everyone loves eating it. It's the favorite dish of prime ministers and trailer park boys. You can have it with ketchup, hot dogs, or lobster if you're feeling fancy. We're proud to be Canada's true national dish and we'll continue to bring smiles to tables everywhere because in the true North strong and cheese, it's gotta be KD or gluten-free KD. I have here that the button of this video was going to be me eating a bite of my bowl of KD, but I unfortunately ate it all. <laughs> so,